in the top view of a line is 65 mm long and is inclined at an angle of 30 degree to the reference line nothing but our xy is the reference line top view is 65 mm long top view inclination is 30 degree so one end is 10 mm in front of vp and 20 mm above hp one end is 10 mm in front of vp and 20 mm above hp nothing but if Point is A, B. A is 10 mm in front of VP, 20 mm above HP. Other end is 60 mm above HP and in front of VP. Other end is B. B is 60 mm above HP and in front of VP. Draw the projections and find its true length as well as true inclination with HP and VP is asked. Okay. Uh, once again, read the question. How we supposed to start the problem? You have to after completing xy reference line you have to fix the locuses one end is 10 mm in front of vp 20 mm above hp with this you can complete locus of a dash and locus of a locus of a dash is 20 mm above hp locus of a is 10 mm below xy and it is 10 mm in front of vp so locus of a and a dash can be completed with this uh, given data other end is 60 mm other end of the line is b b is 60 mm above hp so i above xy i can complete locus of b dash and a is in front of vp they have not mentioned what is the uh, distance between vp and the line so simply it is in front of vp so we are unable to fix locus of b in the top view below xy we may not fix locus of b with this data okay for that what we supposed to do is top view of line is 65 mm long and is inclined at an angle of 30 degree where you represent the top view below xy from point a a as center point a as center draw an arc or use a protector for 30 degree inclination and length of the line is 65 mm so you have two datas 65 mm is the length of the line inclination is 30 degree you complete the line a b in the top view top view projection you can fix the locus of b now all the locuses are fixed you can easily solve the problem let's see x y with vp and hp one in this 10 mm above hp 20 mm 10 mm in front of vp 20 mm above hp so 20 mm above xy as a dash and 10 mm below xy as a so correspondingly locus of a dash and locus of a is known to us so what is the next data other end b is 60 mm above hp so from xy you can draw 60 mm above HP complete locus of B dash and other end is in front of VP no distance given in the question so with this we may not identify locus of B so what is the next given data top view of a line is 65 mm long and inclined at an angle of 30 degree to the reference line where you can draw the top view below xy starting from the point a this is point a so from point a you draw a line with an inclination of 30 degree and length as 65 mm okay so you can easily complete that and one more representation for true inclination with respect to hp it is denoted as theta True inclination with respect to VP is denoted as pi. Front view inclination will be marked as or denoted as alpha. Top view inclination will be denoted as beta. So for easy identification, this simple difference will be there. Beta indicates top view inclination. Alpha indicates front view inclination. Theta indicates front view true length inclination. Pi indicates top view top view true length inclination so now it what is the length of this line 65 mm long beta is equal to 30 degree now you can easily fix the locus of b at the end of this line so at the end of this line you can fix 
locus of B. At the end of this line, you can fix locus of B. After fixing locus of B, now this AB is the top view. For obtaining front view true length, I can rotate this AB parallel to XY, then extend the projector. I can complete the front view true length. Okay. How I suppose to rotate A as center, B as radius, draw an arc to cut the locus of A. This in the below XY in the top view, A as center, B as radius, nothing but 65 mm. B as radius, draw an arc to cut the locus of A. So make it as point B1. A as center, B as radius, draw an R to cut the locus of A. So now you have to extend the projector from locus of A to locus of B dash. Now this AB top view is made parallel to XY as AB1. Now you have to extend the projector to cut the locus of B dash. Extend the projector to cut the locus of B dash. Make it as correspondingly it is B1 dash. From B1 you extended the projector to B1 dash. The concept is we made AB top view as parallel to XY by rotating B to B1. Now you extend the projector from B1 to B1 dash. Now in the front view you join A dash and B1 dash. In the front view, you join A dash and B1 dash. What is that line? True length of the front view. A dash and B1 dash, you can join. Okay. This is the true length of the front view. So, true length of front view is completed. Now, I have to complete still the pending is front view of line AB and true length of line AB in the top view. What are the two things we have to complete? Front view in the front view of line AB and in the top view true length line has to be projected. Any data is available. All the data given in the question is already we used. Now you have to think. We can extend the projector from B to locus of B dash. From B top view. Now in the top view you are having point B at the locus of B. You can extend the projector from B to locus of B dash to identify the point B dash. Okay. Clear? This is the concept we are already aware. A and A dash lies in the same projector line as well as B and B dash lies on the same projector line. So with the help of that concept, we can extend the projector from locus of B to locus of B dash. Nothing but in between the points B and B dash. Afterwards, you can join A dash and B dash. This is the front view. It is the front view of line AB. It is the front view of line AB. So you have to remember those three basics. Uh, if any front view or top view, either front view or top view with inclination is known to us, we can easily identify the true length of the another view. For example, top view is known to us means we can after rotating make it as top view parallel to XY, we can identify the true length in the front view. If the front view is known to us, after rotating, we can make it as parallel to XY. We can identify the true length in the top view. Okay. If you stuck anywhere in between, you can use this uh, projector concept. Both the projectors lies in the same, both the uh, end points lies in the same projector. Using that concept also, you can identify the unknown uh, line. Okay, like maybe front view line or true length line. So now we have to complete true length in the top view. So we have to complete true length in the top view. 
For that it is again same concept. Front view is known to us. You can rotate the front view A dash, B dash. A dash as center, B dash as radius. Draw an arc to cut the locus of A. Sorry, locus of A dash. A dash as center, B dash as radius. Draw an arc to cut the locus of A dash. Make it as point B2 dash. Afterwards, A dash B dash is now made parallel to X Y as A dash B2 dash. A dash and B2 dash. Now you can extend the projector from B2 dash to locus of locus of B. Okay, from B2 dash. In locus point of view, from locus of A dash to locus of B. Extend the projector from B2 dash to from B to dash to locus of B may have a corresponding point as B2. Now it is clear you have to join A and B2 to obtain the top view true length. This is the top view true length. So from A you can join B2. So this is the top view true length. true length so now true length you have to identify how you are supposed to uh, measure it use the scale measure the dimension of a dash b1 dash or a b2 both should be the same answer a dash b1 dash in the front view a b2 in the top view true length true length is not given in our question they asked what is the true length so you have to measure A dash B1 dash in the front view or you can measure A and B2. Measure both. Check it more. Both the values should be equal. So it is 76 mm. True length is identified. Inclinations. So in what is the inclination? Inclination is theta. If you measure using protractor, it is saying 32 degree. With respect to VP, if you use protractor and if you measure, it is saying it is pi is equal to 25 degree. At last you have to write it down, all the answers separately. True length is 76 mm. Inclination with respect to theta is 32 degree. Inclination with respect to VP, pi is equal to 25 degree. And ensure by presentation point of view, this projection front view and top view should be thick. And uh, true length line will be uh, less thicker than that. All the remaining lines are thin lines. Okay. The, in this question, top view is given. What is the uh, another question they can ask is instead of top view, they can give you front view. They ask you to find again true length and uh, true inclination with the HP and VP. Okay, similar problem. Instead of top view, they can give you front view uh, length. They can ask you to identify the ask you to identify the true length, true inclination with respect to HP and VP. So don't stick on to our whatever the problem we are solving in, in the classroom. Because you may not get the exact problem what we solved in the classroom. You have to understand the concept, whatever may be the question, you have to solve it. Okay. You also see, I will tell you how it can be done. Read the question. A line AB 100 mm long. Here the true length is given. A line AB 100 mm long has its front view inclined at an angle of 45 degree. The data is differing from the question number 5. Don't memorize, sir, in the front view, in the question number 5, they have, you have taken that uh, length as front view, top view length and top view inclination. Here, they clearly, they have mentioned line AB 100 mm long has its front view inclined at an angle of 45 degree. So, both are different data. True length is 100 mm, front view inclination is 45 degree. To the reference line separating the views. So, what is the reference line? X, Y. Again, the end A is in VP. They said it is lying in VP. It is not in front of VP. It is exactly on VP. So, what is the locus of A? Locus of A is nothing but X, Y reference line is the locus of A. Locus of A is
in VP VP. So A dash is 25 mm above HP. So you can fix locus of A dash 25 mm above HP. Uh, here they separately given length of the front view is 60 mm. Length of the front view is 60 mm. In this question, you have one more additional data. Front view length also given, front view inclination given. Also, they have given the true length of the line AB. In the previous question, they have given only the top view length and top view inclination. Here, they have given both uh, top view, sorry, front view length and inclination as well as true length of the line also given. Okay, it will be additional data for us. It can be easy for us to solve this uh, problem. Okay, draw the top view of line. Being front view given, they asked you to draw the top view of a line. And again, the same question: true inclination with respect to VP and HP. You have to identify. So I hope this question is understood to all of you. What is the difference between the previous one and this problem? So you can start with the XY as a reference line, VP and HP. Okay, XY as a reference line, VP and HP. Okay, XY as a reference line, VP above XY, HP below XY. You have to make sure here locus of A dash is 25 mm above HP. It is clear. A dash is 25 mm above HP. Point A is 25 mm above HP. Locus of A, point A is exactly on XY because it is in front of VP. Already we practiced line contained in one plane parallel to other perpendicular to other or inclined to one plane already we solved okay in this case line on vp means while drawing it is on xy so locus of a is nothing but our xy reference line is the locus of a so while you are following the procedure in the for next steps you have to ensure locus of a is xy okay for other point any data no no other data is given here how are we supposed to fix locus of b dash as well as locus of b here that is the trick here no data given related to fixing the locus of b dash and locus of b now we will check with the available data so what is the length of front view 60 mm 45 degree inclination so from a dash you can draw a line with an inclination of 45 degree the length of line is 60 mm okay alpha i already clearly told you front view should be represented inclination should be represented as alpha top view inclination should be represented as beta true length in the front view can be represented with respect to hp can be represented as theta True length in the top view with respect to VP can be represented as phi. So these are the denotions. What we did was 60 mm is the front view length. Angle is 45 degree. Draw a line with an inclination of 45 degree and a length of 60 mm. Now, is, now it is possible for us to complete locus of B dash. Now it will be it is easy for us to complete locus of B dash. So at point B dash, you can complete locus of B dash. Okay. From B dash, you can complete locus of B dash. Okay, sir. Now it is completed. If I know the front view, uh, front view, by rotating the front view, I can obtain the uh, true length in the top view. For that also we need one more data, we don't know where the loca locus of B is, how we supposed to fix it, because locus of B is still unknown to us, how we can be fix the locus of B. So we will follow the known step, first step what we can do is, you can rotate the front view and true length is given. So true length of the front view can be easily obtained. You draw an arc from A dash. From A dash, draw an arc as a radius of 100 mm to cut the locus of B dash. So A dash as center, B dash, A dash as center, 100 mm as radius, cut the arc on the locus of B dash. Locus of B dash, cut the arc. 
okay make, make it as v1 dash the length of the true length is 100 mm so front view is completed now front view uh, projection also completed front view true length also known to us with this two uh, front view data we can identify the locus of b in the top view so we will start with true length what is the true length it is a dash b1 dash is the true length of the top view what we completed using 100 mm as radius cut the r cut locus of b1, b dash mark the point as b1 dash now first we have to do is extend the projector because it has to be made parallel to xy so extend the projector from locus of b dash to locus of a here where is the locus of a xy is the locus of a so extend the projector from b1 dash to xy make it as b1 extend the projector from locus of b1 dash to xy that is b1 now i can rotate a as center b1 as radius simply draw an arc okay draw an arc we will stop because we don't know uh, where is the project locus of b for that you can extend the projectors from b dash to b already the same concept a and a dash lies on the same projector the same way b and b dash lies on the same projector so you can extend the projector from b dash to unknown uh, locus of b so we don't know where it is now you can easily extend the projectors from draw an arc now you, you can draw an arc from point a as center b1 as radius draw an arc to cut this projector okay draw an arc to cut this projector you can uh, follow it in either way maybe you already drawn an arc from uh, a to b1 or you can draw from b dash to uh, b any step okay so there is a meeting point of arc as well as the extended projector now you can easily fix the locus of b now the locus of b is fixed so with this top view can be also drawn if you join a b is the top view if you join a b is the top view for front view what you supposed to do front view all the uh, front view and front two length inclination is completed only thing left out is top view true length inclination for that you can uh, make front view as parallel to xy so first try an arc first you can or we can follow it in either way what is given true length what is the length of true length? true length value is 100 mm so a is center uh, 100 mm as radius draw an arc to cut the locus of b this is one one way uh, in another way you can uh, rotate the a dash b dash in the front view uh, by extending the projector from the a dash b dash after that after that you can complete in the true length inclination in the top view so after fixing locus of b so you can draw the uh, 100 mm as radius a as center draw an arc at the locus of b you can fix it as b as b2 it is true length of the top view okay now you can verify your answer whether it is correct or not by extending the projector from locus of b to locus of a dash then a a dash as center b2 dash as radius draw an arc it should meet b dash point if you are drawing the arc from a dash as center b2 dash as radius it must cut b dash in case if it is not cutting means your answer is wrong okay so you can check it a dash as center b2 dash as radius it must cut the locus of b dash at point b dash so now the problem is solved you have to identify the inclination with respect to hp and vp so with respect to hp it is theta is equal to 25 degree using protractor you can identify and also with respect to vp phi is equal to 53 degree finally you can write all the answers with respect to hp it is theta is equal to 25 degree with respect to vp phi is equal to 53 degree so so far we solved around six problems but concept is same for all the six only thing based on the data you have to proceed the projection projecting the particular line
Oke. Okay.